everybody, it's CB Tech Stuff again. Today, I'm doing a different kind of video. It's another review, but this time, it's for fishing gear. Now, I just bought this tackle box with a gift card I got for, I think it was my birthday. Bought this from Academy. It is Plano Guide Series. I think it's like 4,441, something like that. Anyway, I think it's called the Magnum Satchel, actually. No, the Magnum Satchel was the other one I was going to get. Anyway, I bought this big boy to replace my old Plano Satchel. As you can see with all of its stickers on it. I've had this tackle box since I was like 13 years old. And I needed something with a bit more room. Because I do all sorts of fishing when I can. Oh, hang on. All right, turn that music off. Don't want to get copyright striked. Not that it matters. I'm not monetized anyway. But uh, anyway, I've used this tackle box for many years. Bass fishing, cat fishing. Name it. It's seen much better days, and frankly, it just doesn't have enough room for all the stuff I want to take with me. And I have a couple other things here. I also like to carry this bass bag back when I was a member of the Bass Masters at one point. I you like to use this for carrying all my plastic worms. Down here in Texas, we like to do a lot of Carolina rig worms, so... Got all sorts of stuff in there. Got some Bass Assassins, Bass Pro Shops, a whole bunch of Zooms. So I've got a whole thing of stuff that my grandpa gave me. He used to do a lot of tournament, tournament fishing out on Lake Fork. Not too far from where I'm at. And I've got a bunch of other stuff here too. This is a box of spinner baits and buzz baits he gave me. There used to be more in here. I need to go through this too. So. Anyway, I bought this big tackle box because it has multiple storage layers and it has bulk storage in the bottom, which I'll show you. Okay, so it's got the top layer, which is about like this one, not as deep. In the middle, it's got this removable tray. I just notice this. Wait, can this close? Look at that. Oh, that's cool. That's cool. I didn't realize that. So, that clips in place. So you could have upside down storage. Huh. That's a cool feature. I didn't realize that when I bought it. Anyway, this also opens up. Top side storage. One of your dividers. Good place to keep all my hooks and rooster tails, and smaller lures, crappie jigs, what have you. And then we get to the bulk storage. This is what I really like about this tackle box. And it's got these dividers where, just like with this old spinner box, you can keep your spinners over here, you can keep your worm bags. That's what I really wanted to do, because I want to get everything out of my worm bag that I don't want to take with me all the time, or that the stuff I use the most and keep it in here. And also keep like bulk stuff like all the stuff right here, like my extra hooks, my gloves, because you never know when you're gonna have to deal with some fish. I think I bought these back when I decided to go saltwater fishing. So yeah, another weird looking tackle box I do have that I never use. This Ready Lure by Tackle Tech. I got this as a prize or a participation prize, actually, I think, from a kids fishing tournament from when I was like 16, 14, 16. It did not age well because I never used it. I mainly use it just to keep the lures that I never ever use. Oh man, I forgot I still had these. In case you don't know what these are, these are zip lures. They used to have commercials for them back in the day. They're a blade bait with a weight on the front, 
that acts like a spoon but rattle trap at the same time. It's got this little light you can shine on these blue ones that'll make them glow in the dark. Yeah, I never, I never caught anything with these, ever. Biggest waste of money ever. <sighs> anyway. So, I just wanted to show that off. This is kind of a gift to me. Both of my birthday money and just a little bit of my uh, stimulus check. Oh, so I had my dogs. That's Ruby in the corner. What you doing, Ruby? Don't know where Russ go, right? Uh, anyway. Yeah. So, that's uh, basically the gist of this little video. Really nice tackle. Oh, here it is. The Plano 3450 series fits here. Oh! Okay. Okay, yeah, it's the model 11444. That's what the name of this one is. And looks like it has space for another little tackle box to sit in here. That's pretty cool. Makes sense. Okay, so these are actually. These are made to hold like smaller mini tackle boxes. Like this. That's pretty neat. I'm gonna have to experiment with that. Anyway, I got a bunch of worm stuff I can sit in here. Got those worms over there. Those are some of my poles. So, yeah. See y'all later. Keep your lines tight. Alright, ladies and gents. My package came. My last package, my last unboxing. For right now. Anyway, at least until the reel comes in. These are supposed to be the rods I ordered from Midway, USA. Of course, you know, they started carrying fishing stuff. I ordered two of the 7-foot B&M Silvercat rods that were on sale for $30 a piece. Or 30 and some change. Jesus, that's why this was so heavy. So I sent them all in one tube. They sent two tubes instead of box. I don't know why this thing was so heavy. There's some nice tough tubes though. Alright, I'm gonna pull one of these suckers out here in a minute. Alright, I got the top off there. Let's see what we got inside here. Some bubble wrap. Oh, come here, you. I can't get a hold of it. There we go. These are nice. Huh, I thought this would be blue. Eh, I guess it doesn't matter. Sturdy. These are two piece. The CAT70C. Oh, where's my camera at? Here it is. Holding my phone upside down here. SCAT70CM. Seven foot casting rod, two section. BM Fishing. Made in Mississippi. Or made in China. The company's in Mississippi. Okay. What's the sale? Not. Come on. Silver cat. Catfish rod medium. Feels like medium heavy. Like light. And there's the tag. I think that's it. I'm gonna put this thing together in here real quick. And I'm gonna see what it looks like. Okay, it's together. Nice seven foot medium rod. I mean, it's not heavy, but it feels heavy duty. Got a nice amount of flex to it. Perks bait casting. And I'm not crazy about the wrap feel. It feels kind of like paracord wrap, but I'm not sure what it is. I personally don't mind cork or foam, but it is what it is. Got a nice little set knot. I'm going to pair this with an Akuma CLX 300 LA Level Wind that I brought on Amazon. It should be here Wednesday. And this other rod, which is the same thing as this one, I'm going to pair with a Shakespeare. 
I'll pick up the model numbers, but it, it's basically a Zibco 606 or 808 clone made by Shakespeare. That I bought at a bait shop for like 18 bucks for my friend to use because she doesn't know how to use a spinning reel for a bait cast, so. I actually bought that for her and put it on one of my old rods, but that old rod actually messed up, so I just went ahead and ordered two of these and said cheap. So I'm going to do these. One's going to be a bait cast level wind reel. The other one's going to be a spin cast, or push button, whatever you want to call it. A Zepco style. So yeah, this is, uh, this is pretty. This is a beautiful rod. I'm not gonna lie. The colors are a lot different than I thought they'd be, but uh, hmm. maybe I had it confused with. Uh, I think I had it confused with the uh, shattered cat on the colors. I am actually going up to the Broken Bow area this coming weekend, and if I get my reel in time, I might just take this combo, the Okuma with this one. Take it up, see if I can catch some big catfish up there. Aside from maybe trying to catch some trout in the, lot, in the Mountain Fork River. So, we'll, uh, we'll see what happens. Alright, it's that time again. It is Wednesday today, and my other package has arrived. What do we got here? Behold. The Okuma Classic CLX 300 LA. What is that? It is a trolling grade reel that I plan on using for catfishing and some salt water. Oh, it's actually got part numbers and stuff on it. It's even got a breakdown diagram. Sweet. I'm just kind of chunked in here crooked, isn't it? Oh, what do we got here? Make sure everything looks good. Yeah. Hello, gorgeous. Go 25 pound line. It's got a bait clicker. Star drag, line tensioner. I'm gonna see what this looks on that rod I bought. Okay, a couple of things here. One, it does look pretty good on the silver cat rod. Um, but I just realized something. It doesn't have a casting button. Maybe I'm just a dumbass and I don't know how to do this, but yeah, there's a, uh... how do you cast this thing? If I would have known this was a trolling specific reel, I don't think I would have bought it. Well, I feel like a total dumbass. I bet I end up returning this thing. All right, so I did some Googling and I guess my years of bass fishing with a bait caster have kind of made me oblivious to the fact that some reels cast differently. You can cast these, as it turns out. That's what this little lever is for. This is not a bait clicker. The bait clicker is built in. I thought this turned off and on the bait clicker. What this does is this engages the drag, engages the reel. So with that turned off, it can free spool. Turned on, the lever's engaged. I learned something today, I think we all did. If you guys didn't know that before, that's how a level wind trolling reel works. Made in China, this is Okuma. This was, I think, 40 bucks on Amazon? 40 or 50 bucks on Amazon? Best value for the money, in my opinion. Especially if you want to use heavier line. I'm probably going to put 20 pound on this because that's what I have most of. The only 25 pound I have is the cheap uh, must crap. Of 
course it's mono because I don't have any braided line. So I think I'm gonna get this thing rigged up and get it ready. Maybe take it this weekend with me to uh, Broken Bow. See if maybe I can get some big fish over at the spillway there. While I'm also looking for trout. That's all. Alright. Some line later and uh, there you have it. Seven foot rod, medium rating, silver. Silver Cat by B&M. One Okuma Classic, 300 CLX. Level Wind. Right hand retrieve. Spooled with some Zibco Smooth Cast Kit Gen Line. Hovis Raging Red, 20 pound. I don't know how much I put on there, but uh, that should be more than enough. There's at least 200 yards on there. And it is rated for 20 pound lines, rated for 420 yards. I could put a lot more on there for one or two, but I'm not going to. It's because I don't really, I'm probably not going to use all that much. We'll see. Hope this thing won't bird nest too bad on me next time I take it out. Which uh, should be in a couple of days. We'll see. So if I can't catch some blue channel cat, some blues or some channel cat, maybe even some flathead. Up at the Broken Bow Spillway, if I'm not catching trout and walleye, we'll see what happens.